Stephen Smith, Extension Field Crops Pathologist for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We're in a soybean field near Arlington, Wisconsin, and this soybean field has had a history of a disease called brown stem rot. Now brown stem rot is caused by the pathogen Phylophora gregata, which is a fungus. Now Phylophora gregata comes in two different genotypes or types of, of the pathogen. We have the A genotype and also the B genotype. Now the A genotype creates a foliar symptom on soybeans very similar to that of sudden death syndrome. While the B genotype does not cause that foliar symptom, but it does cause an internal necrosis of the stem or internal browning of the stem, hence the name brown stem rot. Now both the A genotype and the B genotype will cause that internal browning of the stem, so it's very important when you're trying to diagnose the difference between sudden death syndrome and brown stem rot that you pull a plant and cut the stem. Now we've cut a stem along the length of the stem halfway through and as you can see there's quite a bit of browning in the pith area of these stems. This is very diagnostic for brown stem rot. To also tell the difference between brown stem rot and sudden death syndrome, with sudden death syndrome we typically have more uh, uh, damage of the root systems, whereas with brown stem rot we see less damage of the root system. Also with sudden death syndrome we will not have the internal browning of the stem. In terms of management with brown stem rot, we want to adopt uh, um, some cultural practices and some decisions at the beginning of the season in terms of variety. We have many varieties of soybean that are very resistant to brown stem rot, so choosing those with resistance for fields that have had a history of brown stem rot is advised. Good drainage is also advised in fields that hold water. There are no in-season management options for brown stem rot, so everything relies on planting prior to planting. For more information about brown stem rot, you can consult my website by googling Wisconsin Field Crops Pathology, or you can visit your local extension office.